YouTube. It's been a hell of a day. It's been a hell of a day today. I got to get this shit off my chest before... Uh, before the night ends. Before the day ends. Anyway. Alright. I don't even feel like doing my intro, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ladies and gentlemen... I know you could be anywhere else on YouTube. The fact that you chose to click on my channel is greatly appreciated. I appreciate the support from my new subscribers. And for y'all that have been watching me for a minute, I definitely appreciate y'all. All right, let's get into it. Um, Recap for this week. It is, it's, everything was rolling good until the day. Until the day. Um... I dropped my last load up here. I'm in PA right now. PA. Um, fuck am I? Where the hell am I at? Bethel. Yeah, I'm in Bethel, PA. So, well, close to Bethel. Well, you might as well say Bethel. Anyway, dropped my load up here. Uh, I was going to a dollar, dollar general. And that's where my problem started. <clears throat> the whole week was going pretty, pretty damn smooth. In fact, Dropping that load at Bethel will make this my highest grossing week uh, to date. So if you've been watching my other video, I think I mentioned in my last video, um, my highest grossing up until that point was 65, was it 65? No, it was 75, 7,500. So this week's gross after the Bethel load is like 80... I think it's gonna be at like 8300 or 83 plus or something it's gonna be 8000 something so um definitely this is gonna be my highest grossing week uh since i've been here in usa so that's cool um the whole week was going pretty smooth Just getting my loads knocking them out no had no issues driving didn't have no issues with usa until today It all started dropping this Bethel load off. All right, so my plan was pretty simple. I had to drop my Bethel load, and then I was going to Kimberly Clark, which is like 20 miles away, to pick up to drop off um, a load tomorrow. Let me make sure this dude's not going to hit me. Like, he is really angling like some shit. God damn, exactly. That shit out. You got all this room. It's me and another USA driver. He's trying to get in between us. Anyway. Hell yeah. I don't want him hitting my shit. What are you doing? Come on, bro. God damn. Straighten this shit out. The fuck? No, bro. There you go. There you go. Hold up. Let me go help this dude out because he like. Let me pause the video. Alright, let us continue. Anyway, so, I don't even know where the fuck I'm at. He just took my whole, you know what I'm saying? You gotta watch these motherfuckers. I already got somebody knock off my mirror and shit. Shit, he gonna knock off the whole front end over here. Shit. Now I gotta fix my lighting. Alright, so anyway. He moving again. He got my attention. All right. So anyway, all right. So the plan was to drop my load here. It was supposed to be a live unload. Okay. It's supposed to be a live unload. Load due. I'm supposed to be here at 12 o'clock. That was my appointment time. 12 o'clock. All right. It's supposed to be a live unload. Pick up my Kimberly Clark load. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at 10 o'clock tonight. 
all right and it's not even due um until seven i mean five o'clock tomorrow in virginia so shit planned out perfect all right shit was going perfect kimberly clark lowe's been running early it's a hook preloaded trailer you know what i'm saying the lowe's been ready early sorry cool I get here to Bethel, pull up to the guard sack. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's like 11:40, so I'm early. He was like, "Yeah, you oh, USA, yeah, I've been waiting on you. Bet, let's do this." He was like, "Yeah, just go ahead and drop it over here off to the side." Drop? No, this a live unload. He was like, "Nah, it's a drop." I was like, well, "According to my paperwork, this don't say live unload." He was like, well, he was like, it's a drop. All right, bet. Where are your empties at? He was like, if it ain't out there along the fence line, you come back in here and you can look and see uh, if you if we got any empties. Okay. All right, bet. So drop, drop my trailer, come back out, look around their little area where they got the empties. No trailer. Come back in. Drive around, no trailer. Only other trailer I see besides the one I dropped is it got one in the door and it's got a green light. So I'm like, okay, I hope that bitch is empty. All right, stop a yard dog. Hey, you know if this junk, this USA trailer right here is empty? He was like, nah, man, just put that in the door like 40 minutes ago. Fuck. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Kimberly Clark don't like y'all to Bob Tell in there. I know this. I know this. And it's 20 minutes down the street. Well, it's 20 miles down the street. All right. All right. So, bet. I pull out, go to Flying J. That's like right around the corner. And it's, you know, at this time, it's like uh, 1 o'clock. I hit up, you know, see on DM. Hey, look, I need an empty. Um,. Where can I get it empty from? Or ask if I can buy telling the Kimberly Clark. I get hit back. Um, go up to Hazeltown, Pennsylvania, and grab this empty. They gave me the number. And um, you know, it's like 60 miles away. Alright, the Carlisle terminal is 55 miles away. So I was like, well, do we got any empties at the Carlisle terminal? And they was he was like, yeah, we got five empties there, but you don't we don't know if somebody's hooked to them or if something's wrong with them, they being worked on. Bet. So cool. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to the car lot time, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, bet. So I started heading up to um um heading up to Hazleton. All right. It was windy as fuck. Y'all know me. I don't like driving in the wind. I don't give a fuck if I'm Bob Tellin'. I had to put up my app. Say the wind is like 21 miles an hour. You know what? I'm about to pull this bitch over for a little bit. Pull over. Wait for about an hour and 30 minutes. Wind dies down. Continue my trip up there. Get up there. Get to, um... First of all, going up the street that they got, there's a bridge. Now, I have to, the way the GPS took me in, I have to go over this bridge, and the building sits right on the on the left-hand side. Well, the fucking bridge is out. All right? So, they got the bridge blocked off. So, now I got to find my way around to the other side. Luckily, they had the little detour sign. So, I detour around, go to the other side, get in there, and, um, you know, I'm looking. I see a couple of USA trailers, but it's not the number that she gave me. Um, so, you know, yeah, I assume they, you know, they fool. Anyway, you know, I, I passed a couple of two, uh, two yard dogs. So I seen one of them walk to the truck. He was like, um, he was like, you looking for an empty? And I was like, yeah. He was like, well, look, we, he said, uh, ain't none here. He said, but our drop, our, our drop lot is, he's like, go around here, make this, make a left out and make a quick right. He was like, you know, told me the street name and everything. He was like, you know, hopefully we got one because there was another uh, driver up here like two hours ago. Damn. 
And it was the last trailer. It was the last trailer. So, honestly, I'm calm right now because I was already pissed that I had they had to they had me driving an hour away from my load. I mean, from where I was supposed to pick up at, and then an hour back. I, nobody feel like doing that shit. So I was already salty. I was like real salty. I was like ready to cancel this load. I told my girl, I was like, you know what? I said I just need to calm down and just. Cause I was like ready to tell him, hey, yo, y'all can kiss the Shh. Give a fuck about this little, y'all can take that bitch, do whatever. So at this point, I told my girl before I left, I said, if they don't have the trailer up there, I'm coming the fuck home. I, ain't, they can, I don't give a fuck what they do with the load, but if they don't have the trailer up there, I'm not going trailer hunting. I'm not, I'm not going trailer hunting. You know what I'm saying? So. I was like, if they don't have a the trailer up there, then I'm I'm going, I'm, I'm messaging them to take me out the load, and I'm telling them I'm going home. So that's exactly what I did. And I went to check the little drop lot. The trailer was gone. Doo -doo -doo. Take me out this load. I'm not going to look for another trailer. I'm going home. Put the phone, put the phone down. I'm out. So get back on the highway. Talk to my girl. So I'm like, hey, I'm on my way to the crib. She's like, what happened? She was like, they didn't have a trailer? Nope. Nope. Trailer was gone. She was like, oh, damn. Damn. I said, so I'm on my way home. I already messaged them, told them, take me off the load. And I'm on my way home. These motherfuckers hit me back. Talking about. Yeah. Well, we need you to go ahead and get this load so you can go ahead and bobtail into Kimberly Clark. What? Fuck you didn't tell me that when I asked you when I was 20 fucking miles away and I asked you could I bobtail in? Why in the fuck I couldn't bobtail in then? What is the difference between now and then? I still don't have a fucking trailer. What is the difference between me bobtailing now and when I asked you, could I bobtail from where I was at? What's the difference? Only difference was I told you, pretty much, take me out this fucking load and I'm going home. Now you tell me I can bobtail in there. Now you don't waste it. Two hours and some change. You know, wasting my fuel, don't wasting my clock. Okay, cool. I hit them back. I got back to the same truck stop I was at earlier. Once I left the fucking um, Dollar General. Yeah, I'm not getting... Hey, I'll take the load. But I'm not taking that shit up until 8 o'clock in the morning. I gotta find somewhere to park. It's easier to find somewhere to park Bob telling it is with a trailer. Shit. It's up here up north. It's parking is hard to come by. So. And I don't like driving in the dark. It's already dark. Shit, it's supposed to snow early in the morning. So, I thought I told him. I was like, all right, I'll pick it up. But it's not going to be till like 8 o'clock in the morning. And then I said, well, why couldn't Bob tell in there when I first asked? He was like, well, I don't know. You know, Kimberly Clark doesn't like us to Bob tell in. But, you know, the exception is if we got to save the, save the load. Okay. Okay. So that's how today went. I almost counted this load because this bitch is going to Food Line in Dispatanta, Virginia, however you say that shit. And I ain't heard shit good about that Food Line. Nothing. At all. So I'm just going to be prepared to sit. Got to watch the Super Bowl on my goddamn phone and shit. Appointments at 5 o'clock. I'll be there on time. But I ain't heard nothing good about that food line. So I probably won't even take another. I had to avoid taking loads to that damn thing because I have never hadn't heard nothing good. I took it. I took this load because it drops tomorrow, which would be the new week, beginning of the new week. And I will already have a load under my belt. That's why I took it. I actually took it. I canceled it. And then I picked it up again. So... That's my week. I 
guess you're gonna have these weeks. You know what I'm saying? Bittersweet. Glad because I finished last week. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna keep pushing. So glad to finish my last. Uh, glad to finish my last week with a new high. And um, yeah, we gonna break this one too. Yeah, I got. I don't figure some things out. A couple of things I can't really talk about, but yeah, this year our motto: six figure take home. I definitely feel we gonna do that this year. So, um, that was my week this week, and um. Yo, y'all got, you know what I'm saying, some comments, leave them down in the comments, comment on the video, comment, comment, share, like, and subscribe, if you like the content, definitely subscribe to the channel, support your boy, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to y'all next week, and uh, hopefully it'll be a better week, so, uh, until then, peace.